My mom was born right here in Detroit. I wouldn't be here if a black guy, my grandfather, couldn't get a job on the assembly lines through the UAW. So I want Michigan voters to know uh, that it's uh, Michigan blood that runs in my veins, and I'm going to fight for this state. There's no difference between blacks and whites for using drugs or selling drugs. But this drug war was disproportionately targeted on communities like mine, communities like Detroit. And we need a president that can lead us out of this unfair system of mass incarceration. And the first thing he has to do is own up to the, to the not that's just the mistakes he's made, but how it's impacting people's lives now, and have a better plan for liberating people who are unjustly incarcerated. I spent my entire career working on reforming the criminal justice system. I made a very conscious decision to become a prosecutor when I did. I grew up a daughter of the civil rights movement. I grew up acutely aware from the day I was born about the injustices in the, in the system, and I decided I would work on the system from the inside. And I am proud of my record. There's no question that since I unveiled my own plan, mm -hmm. which I believe is the most responsive to what American families wanted, in fact, Experts are telling me the same thing. Um, the architect of the Affordable Care Act has praised my plan. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be subject to attacks by people who are, you know, have offered a different plan and, and perhaps are concerned that my plan is better. You think about criminal justice reform, you think about immigration, you think about uh, the issues that were brought up with regard to uh, women's pay or a lot of these issues. The vice president is trying to have it both ways. I have said, look, uh, I've learned the lessons of the past when it comes to immigration. He hasn't. And, you know, I think what Democrats are looking for is if you're going to beat somebody like Trump, who is fearless, who is a bully, then you don't try and run out of fear. You need to be bold and fearless in what you believe. I really just wanted him to explain his words. Uh, how could he say that supporting a tax credit for affordable daycare would deteriorate the family? How, I wanted him to explain what he meant when he said it was avoiding responsibility. Those were his words. He From 1981. Agreed, but we have a misogynist in the White House today. I've been leading the debate on national pay leave. We need to make sure that the Democratic nominee understands the challenges that women, play, play, women face in the workplace and will be a champion. Uh, it's too late. His timeline is way too late. Science has told us we have to act with urgency on this, and we have to do it within the next 10 years. I heard him say at the last comment, he's going to work on it. Working on it doesn't cut it. We need to have action right now to save the planet and this nation, and I'm dedicated to doing that. Climate change has to be dealt with. As the person who was standing two candidates away from Joe Biden, I was like, wow, it seems like the game plan is to try and elevate yourself by attacking Joe. Uh, and I think it's really unfortunate that that's the way the mechanics of this race seem to be playing out in the heads of the candidates and their team. I do not believe that we can uh, we can ever pass a policy that says that we're going to raise $30 trillion on the middle class in America for the privilege of giving up their chance to choose their w insurance at work. Justice Department is looking at much more serious charges. They said, don't act, it would undermine our case. We yielded to the Justice Department. Five years later, they announced they were doing nothing which is a travesty. Uh, it was a huge mistake. Uh, I used to think the Justice Department was the gold standard. I don't think that anymore. We are now going to take matters into our own hands in New York. This case will be resolved in August, and I believe there will be justice for the Garner family, finally.